firing line, and I shan't keep you too long. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, Attitude Era wrestlers. And okay. uh, if you want to throw in a story, you're more than welcome to. I encourage it. If you want to just speed through it, I, I totally understand. But I'm going to give you the first one here, Paul Bearer. Uh, I love him. Uh, Paul Bearer, me and Paul Bearer were friends for years before I went to WWE. We're AOL Instant Messenger buddies. Uh, big fan of, uh, I, I, I forgot the guy's name. They call him the possum, but my first day at WWE, go to Sunday night heat and, uh, they're setting up something for the, uh, he's sitting in production he, with the production guys and they're melting candles for the, the broods entrance. He goes, and he goes, this guy, you know, uh, me, he's been my friends for years. Only guy never asked me for a job. <laughs> and the fact that, you know, I was friends with. You know, Paul for all those years and never asked him for a job meant a lot because he had a lot of friends who try to uh, impede on their friendship by asking for a job. Mm. I love him. I miss him. Uh, Godfather also told me once that he was the greatest roller of joints. Um, Probably, yeah. I just of all yeah. people, I don't want to judge a book by its cover, but of all people, I would not have put him at the top. <laughs> I'll uh, ask you the next one. As my brother's ringing me, I'll turn that off. Uh, Bob Holly. Uh, Bob Holly, man. He's a man's man. Uh, he's like one of those uh, nature guys now. Like he'll just go out in the woods with like nothing and just live off the land, you know, for a couple of days to reset his mind. Uh, he was a hardcore, well, no pun intended, uh, gym freak. You know, we work out, I worked out with Bob Holly one time in England and I went back to my room and I was trying to put the key in my door and my arms were so dead. I had to sling my arm up like <laughs> looking at Bernie's it and try to get it in there in, into the thing. And, uh, you know, Bob would go to the gym at like 5 a.m., 4 a.m. <laughs> and one time Al was Al Snow was rooming with Bob Holly. And I was like, man, I got to take a leak, but I don't want to wake Bob up because if he wakes up, he's going to want to go to the gym and I want to sleep. <laughs> so Al says he, he's getting up and he's, you know, you know, tiptoeing across the room and he heard Bob stirring to sleep go like, and he went and he, <laughs> and he froze like a deer in the headlights until Bob like went back, you know, like, uh, and then he's like, oh, okay, now I can go to the bathroom. <laughs> Bob was like, oh, you're awake. I'm awake. Let's go to the gym. <laughs> Oh my god! I've got a I've I've got a gym in my garage, and I can't force myself to go in it. it just how how people have the energy, I don't know. Shame a man. Shame a man's awesome. He was a big well, ECW fan as well, wasn't he, Shane? The, the story was he wanted to buy ECW and make it a, a digital online show. You know, precursor to what we have now with streaming. You know, but he was going to put it on WWE dot com. Huge WWE fan. I mean, a huge ECW fan. When I got there, he, he knew exactly who I was. He produced a couple uh, promos uh, or skits. Uh, there was one where uh, I made a joke about something with me and Al. I made a joke about Pepper, about him eating Pepper, you know. And Al beat me up and, you know, threw me over a table and stuff. And Shane produced that. And any okay? Yes. Yeah, he was just a, a young guy, a cool guy, uh, and, you know, it's awesome to be around. Uh, Scott Taylor, Scotty Too Hotty. The nicest guy in the business. Uh, Scotty, uh, Scotty Taylor's awesome. I first met him. He worked for ECW on the, the, the Massachusetts Loops. I want to say it's Scotty Taylor. Uh, Soft-spoken, polite, can work. So then we run into each other in WWE and it's like, Oh my God. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, I I'm jealous of him. He uh, met Sammy Hagar in the airport one time. <laughs> Hagar gave him tickets to a show, which, you know, I'm a big Van Halen fan, uh, of both eras. Don't fight me, Sammy and Dave. And the only two people I haven't met are Sammy and Dave. So he got to meet Sammy in the airport randomly. And, I've held it against him ever since, but I, I love him. I love him. Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty. Uh, Stacy Carter. Stacy Carter. Awesome. Awesome lady. Uh, I, I met her. I knew her mainly through WWE, but she, always uh, pleasant. 
always kind. Uh, she's a very kind person. You know, she takes care of, uh, you know, pets and animals now in her, her everyday life. Uh, great person. Uh, Jackie Moore. Jackie's uh, tough. Tough. She can beat the shit out of most men. Everybody uh, says that word about Jackie. They're tough. Oh, wow. Tough. She she can she can hang with the hang with anybody. Uh, again, I worked out with her one time and <laughs> went noodled armed. That was in uh, Long Island. We we were all she was showing us some uh, new tricep workout. And, uh, I was just like, ugh, <laughs> trying to put my key back in the hotel thing. You know, <laughs> son of a bitch. I bet you're really happy when they had those key card things, so you just wave it with your yeah. arm sort of. <laughs> I look like an you know, inflatable wacky. I was like in Bailey's entrance, you know? Just... <laughs> like the second-hand car. Yeah. Car sales place. I know exactly what you mean. Ivory. Ivory. Uh, oh, Lisa Ivory. Moretti. Awesome. Uh, such a character. Uh, just na- natural charisma, natural talent. Uh, never seen her had a bad day. You know, never seen her without a smile. Just... Uh, and we, I got to travel with her a couple of times and just, just a bundle of it. I, I was, if she could bottle her energy and sell it, she'd be a millionaire, you know, 3000 times over. Uh, and I hope you've got a story on him because I've never asked about this guy before. Okay. Golga, John Tenta, earthquake. Uh, John Tenta was an awesome guy. Uh, yeah. For a guy who'd done everything he had done, he was just, unassuming just he would just sit, come in do what we had to do you know do a job and you know, do his job and uh didn't really raise much of a fuss i do remember you know uh somebody said something somebody was talking about ribs in the locker room and he just pipes up and goes i don't rib anybody because i don't want to be ribbed and i just would pop i popped for it. i was like yeah, that's a great motto to have but uh very nice guy sweetheart of a guy for how big he was and you know for the the stuff he had done you know feuding with hogan and all that stuff just a just a guy awesome guy and uh sadly missed 